I was healthy all my life up until I was 14. And so being diagnosed with cancer was a really big shock to me and my family. I was 14 when I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is a cancer of the bone. And I had about a softball sized tumor in my knee. Um, we, di we discovered it after I just had a lot of pain in my knee and just going to doctor appointment after appointment and no one could figure out what was wrong until I eventually had an x-ray and an MRI and right away they knew that something was wrong. Once I was diagnosed I was thrown into treatment. I had about four months of high dose chemotherapy to, to try to shrink the tumor so that I could have a total knee replacement and after that um, when I went to go get my surgery, we found out that the chemotherapy didn't help at all and that my tumor grew and it spread up and down my leg. So my only choice was to amputate. I didn't want to hear it or accept it. Um, amputation for me was just out of the question. At the point, I was 14 years old and I was thinking more about my appearance instead of what was good for my health and for my life and I just really had to think about it and it was really hard um, and eventually after a lot of thinking and just trying to go through it I decided that amputation was for the best and it was my life or my leg and I chose my life because I had just so much more living to do and so many more things to do that I couldn't let this having my leg amputated stopped me from doing what I wanted to do with my life. Beersing Adults is a cancer support group for teens and young adults that I just recently began working on. And it just started when I walked into the Hudson Valley Cancer Resource Center last year, of July of last year, looking for a support group to attend. And I came to find out that there was none available and there is really none available at all in the Hudson Valley and the surrounding areas. So I decided to start my own just to give kids, um, teens and young adults the support that they need through their cancer journey because just support is not available here. So I just wanted to give them support. Yeah, there was a lot of times when I just felt alone and that the people surrounding me, I didn't feel as if they could know what I was going through because while they were around me and they watched me battle, they weren't actually going through it. They weren't going through the treatments or the surgeries. Um, so it was just, it felt really alone during the time. I just want them to know that they're not alone and that through fierce young adults that they have the support that and that we can give it to them. and just to keep on fighting. I'm just glad that I can give support and just help people through it because I know how important it is to know that you're not alone through it. So being there for others and helping them just means a lot to me.